everybody, it's Annette Green here, um, having so much fun with Lost in Paradise from Graphic 45. Uh, some of you may have already seen the video on this little project. If not, I will put it in the description below so you can check it out. Uh, but today's video is about this album, which is a class I'll be teaching here in Central Florida in the Melbourne area in August of 2019. So we're going to show you that. Um, this was a little luggage tag that I made as a make and take for the cruise I was just on, Cruise to Bermuda with the wonderful Crafters Therapy Cruises. I highly recommend them. They're awesome. Had a great time. Wonderful students. Uh, and then I'm just starting on this uh, album. This is the rectangle uh, pocket and tag album from Graphic 45 in the Ivory. So I've just started it and I'm utilizing a couple of fun things here that they sell in their uh, metal embellishments, the photo corners, the line head door knockers, and of course the collection. And right now, uh, nothing much is happening on the front, but it's gonna. So I'll share this again when I get it finished, but I'm just getting rolling and having some fun. I'm probably gonna take this to a crop this weekend and work on it a little bit more, but I'm just getting started. But this paper is just so pretty, I wanted to show you. So let's dive into this one and show you uh, all the little details. Okay, first I'll give you a little walkthrough of the finished album. And then at the end, if you can hang in there and you want to see it, I will show you um, all the materials that went into making this so that it all makes sense how it comes together. And the other thing that you'll need to know, uh, like I said, I'm teaching this in the middle of August here in Florida. Uh, and then after the class is done, which is August 17th, I will be listing a tutorial, a full and complete tutorial with step-by-step -step directions, photos, cutting guides, everything for this in my Etsy shop um, a couple of days after the class. So around August 19th or 20th, that will be posted. And, and I'll come back on my social media and I'll remind people, hey, it's ready, it's up there for you. Okay, so let's take a look. All right, so this is called uh, Lost in Paradise Paper Bag Tag and Envelope Album. And here's why. So the album itself is completely built and constructed by me. And it's made out of black chipboard and some craft techs. And, and I'll tell you all the stuff at the end. A little magnetic closure there. It's got a little charm, little beads on the spine here. And a very simple backing with this pretty paper. So the front features the Graphic 45 key and the new pearls, which I'll talk about. Some die cuts and the chipboard from the collection. So it opens with a magnetic closure, shows this pretty coral print on the inside flap. And then this left side, I have used, like we'll talk about, the ephemera cards and pretty papers to make a little tuck spot. And then you will build a hinge system. I'm fond of the stack the deck system. And so you'll learn how to build that in the tutorial to make your little inner spine there, your hinge. All right, but the first page is a white paper bag. And it's very simply decorated on the front, a little bit of chipboard and a pearl there. And then this is, as you can see, like a paper bag is, this is a little flap at the bottom of a paper bag and it's glued to make a pocket. Uh, we've seen that uh, a couple times, I'm sure. Uh, Ginger Rop, my sister scrapper, just made a really cute um, paper bag album with Graphic 45 paper. So inside we have a plain, fairly plain cardstock mat for photos, journaling, what have you. Okay, so there's your first page is a paper bag. Your second page is uh, an envelope, a plain white envelope. And here's a big square graphic 45 tag. Uh, use the sticker from the sticker collection, which comes with the paper collection. A little bit of cut aparts here. And then we have a paper sack. So this is paper bag number two, different style, which I'll show you. So there's how the bag folds up. This is more of a flat bag. A little ephemera card in there and a little ephemera card in there. These are the greatest things ever. They're so pretty and so easy to just pop onto projects and journal like ready-made art. And the stickers there. And then the paper sack is hinged open with this big piece of pattern paper. Another ephemera card and some more chipboard and a little black mat behind there. Okay, so that's it, like paper bag, envelope, paper sack. 
and then of course the tags. So then we start again with a paper bag, chipboard, a little bit of twine here. Very simply done. I mean, you could really dress this up much further if you wanted to. So here's your second paper bag on the back. Got your little tall photo mat, a little eyelet there, and some twine on each one so it's easy to pull in and out of there. And of course, you see how I've used a, a large circle punch to just do a little bit of a notch. But what's cool is when you put it back in there, everything kind of lines up again. So we got some ephemera card there and some stickers again. And then here's your second envelope with a pull-out tag. Of course, a little sticker there. Oh, and I did put stuff on the back too, just for fun. Here's your second paper sack flap. Got your pocket and your second pocket. Um, some of you up in Tallahassee, Florida might find this to be very familiar. I did something very similar with Sunkissed last year for a class up in Tallahassee. So I'll, I'll bring that out and show you that in a minute. So there's your third and final white paper bag. We'll cut apart from the paper another little, sorry, I keep going out of frame, photo mat there. And then the final envelope here with a tag and stickers and fun stuff on the back. And then the final paper sack. Very simple, but it's, it, you know, it's one of those kind of albums. Once you make one, you're, you're going to want to make a bunch because it's not difficult. Uh, once you get down the measurements, and how easy it is to put together, you'll want to make a bunch. All right, let me grab the other album and then all the supplies. We'll talk about that next. Okay, so just as a little, you know, just to show you, it can be made with different papers, completely different papers. You could use masculine, you could use Christmas, whatever you like. Uh, but this is Sunkiss from last, last summer. And it has a, just a slightly different feel with some different ribbons on the front. You know, you can make those little changes, but it's basically very similar. This one, we don't have eyelets. We just have uh, the circle notched out all the way through the bag this time. And so there's photo mat area on both sides. Uh, but yeah, see, basically the same kind of deal. Different colors, different papers, same basic concept. So once you have this tutorial, um, it is eternally useful for many different themes. Okay, so there's that, just to show you for fun. Okay, supplies. Of course, you will need a 12 by 12 collection of Lost in Paradise. And I will tell you, it only takes half of the papers, because there's two of each of the eight double-sided papers in here. You will only use half of the papers, but you get the sticker collection in there, and you will use the stickers. So if you're just buying the papers at a store, at a scrapbook store, uh, buy one of each sheet and then buy your sticker collection separately. Or if you just want extras in case you mess up cutting, just buy the whole collection. It comes with the stickers. So there's that. Lost in Paradise 12 by 12 patterns and solids. I also used a half of this. So you can make two albums, really. Just use your stickers a little differently and you can do that. Uh, I used half of a pack of the journaling and ephemera cards in the Lost in Paradise collection as well. And then I did use uh, uh, the complete set of the chipboard in the Lost in Paradise. Okay, so that sounds like a lot of supply, but it does go a long way, as you can tell. Um, some little additional items. Not always, you know, like mandatory. You could use something else you might have in your stash. Uh, but for the front here, I used a keyhole from Graphic 45, and it is the Shabby Chic. I don't know if they carry them anymore, and it's not critical uh, that you use that style. That's just what I use, but they do have the antique brass still. I believe um, we are phasing out of Shabby Chic. I hope I have that right, and we're going to be just having the antique brass. I could have that backwards. I don't know. <laughs> don't hold me to it. Uh, but we just use one of those. So if you have something like that in your stash, good for you. Okay, and then the brand new Matte Pearl Gems by Graphic 45. See the silver and the gold and the black? I don't know if you picked up on all of those all throughout, but they are used throughout the album here and there and everywhere. So love those, and you, you only use psh, not even a quarter of what you have here. So you have a lot of those to play with. I used one Lionhead door knocker from Graphic 45. 
Uh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I used this on the other album, so forget that. <laughs> uh, here is, this is, you know, if you guys have crickets, <clears throat> excuse me, or other dyes or stamps even, or if you just want to use some fussy cuts out of the paper, <clears throat> you can certainly do that. This is from Stampin' Up. This is what I used. Uh, it is called the Tropical Thinlet Die Set. Kind of fun, kind of cute. <clears throat> and I just used the Patterns and Solids paper and flipped it around to do the different parts. Uh, and then I used some black cardstock to do like a little drop shadow. <clears throat> so you will need some black cardstock as well. I didn't mention that. Um, to cover the tags, which we'll talk about the tags. Well, let's talk about the tags right here. Square, ivory tags, graphic 45, I use three. You get, um, how many? Nine. So there's three albums right there. You only use three of these. And then, of course, to make it easy, I own the uh, graphic 45 square tag and clock die. I think it's called square tag, clock, and doily die. Um, there you go. Uh, that makes easy work of cutting the papers to go on the tags because, as you know, if you know Graphic 45 at all, uh, these dies are great because it cuts the paper not the same size as the tag, but just a little bit smaller, which is great. And as you can see, I take the packaging apart and I mount one of these magnet sheets. Uh, I can't remember where I got it from, but it's fairly thick and then I stick it right to the packaging so I remember the name of it on here and then I have it all like secured and I don't have to put it back into a plastic bag or anything it's all set to go and as you can see I have uh, wax paper stuck in all these places of these very intricate die parts uh, that's just something that I've always done uh, some people find that to work for them some don't uh, another option is to use a uh, dryer sheet like a bounce sheet and rub it on your die before you cut it out. That helps. Okay, what else? Oh, okay, so the paper bags, the flat sacks, and the envelopes all came from my local Hobby Lobby. So let's see, paper bag first, because that's the order. Comes in a package of 12, and you only use three, so you're gonna have a lot of extras. Uh, sacks and things, $2.99. By the paper studio okay um, the size of the bags it says are four and a half inches by 8.88 inches by three inches and there's the centimeters for those that need it okay so that's those the flat sacks also sacks and things by the paper studio $2.99 and you get 12 of these as well these measure 4.75 by 9.25, so four and three quarters by nine and a quarter inches. And there's your centimeters for that one. Okay, so those are just flat. And um, I can't remember what aisle they're on at Hobby Lobby, but they're over there with paper crafts. And then finally, just some um, five and a quarter by seven and a quarter envelopes in the white. You know, if I could have found black and all these things, that's what I would have used because the whole base of the album is black. But I don't mind that white kind of separating things out and uh, giving it a little bit of contrast. So if you can find black in all those things, um, that's awesome. But this big old box uh, is how many? A hundred envelopes. So if you have like three five and a quarter by seven and a quarter envelopes lying around, use, use them but uh, I know that I'm gonna use these because I'm teaching a class. Okay, okay, and then finally, like I said, the album is made from black chipboard. Graphic 45 has black chipboard now. That is what I used. You can get it just about anywhere. It's a medium weight chipboard. I did use the, um, the little magnets, the little flat ones that you can find. I use small basic gray magnets uh, I can put a link to where you can find some of those in the description below. Also, I mentioned um, Craftex, which is what I use for my spine here. I'm fond of it. You can use cardstock. Uh, I just feel like I can trust Craftex uh, to last me quite a while. And, and I've talked about Craftex for a long time. I use it on a lot of different projects. You can find it on Amazon. Uh, I think Joann's has it. 
and I think you can even buy it like by the yard at Joann's. I'm not sure, but it's called Craft Tex. This is craft colored, but mine uh, is black. It comes in different colors. Um, you just use a very small amount, really, just to go from here to here and around. So if you don't have craft text, you don't want to buy a bunch just for that one small area, then you can use black cardstock. It'll work. I just feel like over time with a lot of handling, craft text is great. For those of you that don't know craft text, it's like half paper, half fabric, so it doesn't it doesn't tear. It doesn't get worn over time and fall apart or break with too much handling. It's it's pretty great stuff. All right, and finally, one last tool that you would like probably to have if you want to do these rounded corners on your chipboard and your paper. A regular corner rounder punch is, is not gonna get through chipboard. So if you don't have one yet, this is an invaluable tool I use all the time by We Are Memory Keepers. It's a crocodile corner chomper, and it has two different sizes, the half inch radius and a quarter inch radius, and you just can round the corners of anything super thick. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, so if you don't have that tool and you don't wanna run out and buy it, just don't round these corners and you'll be fine. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I didn't mention this, but you can buy a couple of beads and some string and add that to your little charm. I Did I mention I'll put a link to where I got this sand dollar charm? I'll do that. Uh, but that's it for me today, and I thank you for joining me again. I'll be teaching this August 17th with a group called Cupcakes and Unicorns in Melbourne, Florida, which is central to almost East Coast Florida. And after that, around August 20, 2019, we're talking, I will list this tutorial in my Etsy shop. Alrighty, everybody. Thank you so much again. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you soon.